Cat, it's Maximus here. Bought this uh, 3 8 channel lock spinner handle off of eBay. The ball detent was just barely in there, obviously. It had fallen out on somebody. They were brought it, uh, or they sold on eBay. I bought it when I got in the package. It actually had already fallen apart. This sometimes happens where they just don't do the stamping. They put in the spring. They put in this ball bearing. It's very precisely sized to the hole there. And then they just smash and it swages the metal and makes a little lip and that's what retains the ball. Sometimes these things fall out. It's difficult to find these. Sometimes these ball sizes vary. But if you can find the spring and ball, you can attempt to repair it. And that's what I'm going to do here. In this case, I've already measured what size they were trying to use. It's a quarter inch. So I'm going to do first, just put it back in there and attempt to strike it a few times with a quarter inch dry pin punch to see if I can't get that to swage. But this metal may be just a bit too hard for me to be able to do that. In that case, I'm going to tr do the backup method, which is use a center punch and actually punch a series of little dents all around the edge. I'll do a couple of punches and I'll push the ball in so it doesn't get stuck and I'll do a couple more punches, essentially creating an effect like on this old snap-on here where I have a series of indentations. So. Let's see how that does it. You do want to hammer with a significant amount of mass. I'm going to use a uh, four pounder right here. Here we go. I'm going to drop the spring in there. Since there is just a little bit on here, it can just barely kind of hold the ball in place. Then I'm going to put it just right on the flat, not on the round part, but on the flat. Try to make sure that this punch is pretty well squared and give it a tap. And we're going to see if that worked at all. Kind of got it to hold. So it turns out I'm going to have to strike it significantly harder than that because this is at least some reasonable quality of steel here. Well, that didn't work. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to use the method where I take and make a series of little indentations around the hole with this center punch. It was a little awkward trying to get uh, the right angle, but I managed to get it back in there. I don't know if the person sent me either a different spring or maybe it was a little bit concave on one side and I put it in upside down. But it certainly has been tough. It didn't want to retract all the way. It was like just the opposite. Instead of the ball falling out, now it won't go in so far and so I had to end up hammering it in and out of uh, into the socket and then hammering it back out of the socket to get it to work but those are some of the challenges as far as using the center punch that worked out perfect I just dropped the ball in there did just a one little light punch tap the ball in deeper and you can see I only had to do I didn't even have to do that many I have this one which I didn't do very well these couple, which I didn't need, really, I could have done three. One here, one here, and one here if I had them more accurately placed. And that was more than enough to keep the ball way down. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out. <music>